people, here is another very, very good way to use comparisons or to compare with comparatives. The reason why I split up these two separate lessons, okay, in my course is simply because this has to deal with a lot of grammar. I don't want to put too much grammar into one video along with everything that I had said in the previous video. I would much rather just have it together as a whole right here, right now. It's going to be a relatively short one, but I'm going to have to walk you through that process. Again, am I telling you to write down everything? No. I'm telling you to figure out the formulas that are very understandable for you, put them into your journal, and begin practicing them. Implement them in your essays. And again, we're trying to like, we're trying to smooth out the edges around your essay because we're already into the latter part of this course, right? So in saying that, let's check out some of these combinations and comparative structures that I have here. All right. So A plus is our verb plus comparative adjective, then B plus is our do does. Now, all that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. And that's why I'm just showing you these formulas right now so I can make a little bit more sense of it. So let's, we, I have all the formulas here. We're going to be going over all of them. I'm going to scroll back up here, but let's just take a look at the formula that I just said right here, right now. So A plus is our or verb plus a comparative adjective plus then plus B is our do does. I know it sounds like calculus. Calm down. Here we go. Developing countries is the A are more reliant. So subject plus the verb plus the comparative. Okay. On alternative energy production. Okay. Now that's the other subject. And then we're going to use plus then develop countries are. We have to put the R at the end. We're not just going to use countries. So I'll repeat that in, in, in its entirety. Developing countries are more reliant on alternative energy production than developed countries are. Then you're going to go into details. That's the formula I just gave you. Or I am more interested in music than I am in uh, than I am interested in sports. That's when you're given your personal stance. I believe this because I'm more interested in music than sports, and also, right, given an internal preview to the two body paragraphs that you're going to be writing. Let's look at another one. Picasso's art is better than Van Gogh's art. Okay. Now, remember, we're looking at that parallel. Picasso's art, Van Gogh's art. If you just put Picasso's art and Van Gogh, it's like, wait, that, that's grammatically incorrect because you're making a comparison between a man and a man's art. You can't do that. You're going to have to say art and art. Got it? Now, the contribution of the electronic light to human welfare is greater than any other invention. Okay. Solar energy is cheaper than any other source of energy. Now, you can omit the is or you can leave the is in there. Look at some of these or maybe a couple of them and you can use them for developing everything. So let's look at another one, a second pattern. <sighs> a plus the verb. Okay, so basically subject plus the verb.